guys, quick MS-DOS video. We have a Pentium 3 system here, 733 megahertz. We have installed one of these Sound Blaster Live cards. It's a tad dark in here, but you can see there, it's a Sound Blaster Live, and we have some different versions, but I mean, they, they, they sound the same way on MS-DOS games. So, I made a video earlier when I played Sound Blaster 16 emulation, how that sounded in MS-DOS and General MIDI, how that sounded. Some of you guys wrote to me about Sound Canvas and others told me about AdLib support. So we're just gonna make a fast video with Duke Nukem 3D setup. We're gonna choose different sound cards. Let's just start with the Sound Blaster and test the music and quality and all that. Really bad. Of course, it, it's different for you guys through the camera and YouTube decompression and all that, but in real deal, there's like echoes in the sound. It, it just does not sound that good. I don't recommend Sound Blaster in MS DOS mode, Sound Blaster 16 emulation with this card. So let's check AdLib. And see how that one works. Some of you guys wanted me to test this. Some of you guys wrote that it would be better than Sound Blaster. So let's choose this one and see how it's going to perform. As, I, as of my knowledge, then this one should sound better, but let's just give it a go. It runs a tad slower, but I'm not sure. Adlib, I don't like it. Sound Blaster, I don't like it. Uh, Sound Canvas, some of you guys wrote to me, try that, doesn't work. Also, one guy said, try Wave Blaster. He wasn't sure that it would work, but let's just. Sound canvas. It's great, guys. It's just, it's amazing. I don't think this will work. A32, let's take it out. No, that couldn't be detected. And General MIDI. I love General MIDI. It's just great, guys. I love this. So, as I understand, General MIDI, Sound Canvas, they, they, they sound a tad metallic. Uh, Just <laughs> I mean, with these cards, Sound Blaster, Sound Blaster and Adlib, it sounds really bad. Uh, it feels like Adlib was a tad better, but not something I would recommend. With these cards, generally. The Wave Blaster sound great. I really like it. Now the next thing would be having the real deal, of course, but 
you know, those SC55, I don't remember what they were, not, they were called, those extra little boxes, they're, they're pretty expensive today, so you can get these cards for peanuts, you know, guys. So still, if you choose General Midi in these old games, you will have a blast playing them. Also have some decent speakers, of course, that, that, that that's a must. So if you want to use, you know, Pension 3 systems, to play in an stars mode and you don't have no ISA circuits, ISA slots, and you only have PCI, that's my problem right now with this computer, then I will fully recommend one of these Soundbox Live cards. I mean, these were very popular, you know, EAX from Windows 98 era, also Windows XP, you can use it for, for that. Some, some guys has patched these ones, so you can use it with Windows 7 also. <laughs> I've seen that, but then, um, yeah, for MS-DOS and only PCI solution, I would fully recommend this card. Really nice. But for Sound Blaster and Adlib, choose something else, not this card. So that's just a quick test, guys. And uh, this is how I feel about it. Have a great day. Bye.